There it is. Yes. Yes. All right. So, the plan for today, and by today I mean this video, and that could mean multiple days because I don't think it will go as smoothly as I'm thinking. Oh, I need more coffee. Okay. I'm going to pull the motor and the cutlass. And I'm going to pull the motor and the cutlass because <laughs> G-bodies are so cool and there's so many different ways to build them and almost none of them involve using that little carbureted V6 that's in there, the 231. My brother right now is on his way and he is bringing over my engine hoist and his engine stand and uh, hopefully just maybe I can actually get moving on this project and it's gonna be a pretty thorough project I want to have it to where I'm gonna park it right here and I'm not gonna move it until I can drive it every single day so I'm gonna put the motor in I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put a new transmission in it and I want it set up with decent brakes and functioning enough to where I can insure the thing and rock the thing down the road, drive it to work, and actually get to enjoy the car. And that'll get me out of daily driving my Jeep, <laughs> which is good because I have plans for that as well. Hopefully he's almost here and uh, I can dupe him into helping me get the Cutlass inside and getting the hood off. All right, good news, he's here. And he brought the 67 and the stuff. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna load this really quick and then we will be, uh, probably give you a walk around on that truck. It's pretty cool. You don't have to be awkward, we are. <laughs> it's the base setting. <laughs> so, this is the 67. This was in this garage right where the 2001 is parked for a long time. How long was it parked, Mark? Mark parked? 10, 12 years, easy. Ugh. Something, yeah, well, hey, if you let me buy a, if you would have let me buy that, that Apache, just saying. Like I didn't let you buy it. Yeah, but I don't know. Mark told me it was a bad idea too. <laughs> and now I can't find one. I should have bought it. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, she did. Damn it. Don't pretend like I tell you no. I know. <laughs> but I need to find an excuse to why I didn't buy that. This thing is so sweet though. I love this truck. Running around like ants. My knees are just crunchy. Also, this truck is supposed to get built like crazy. He has some insane plans for this truck. Whew. Anyways. things <laughs> it's dumping rain right now just absolutely dumping I kind of slowed down for a second and now the wind is coming okay my brother left um, God I love seeing that truck that truck is so cool and it's always been so cool and even though he's gonna make it from a long bed to a short bed I'm so stoked that he has that truck because I probably wouldn't have done much with it, but that truck has so much potential and I think he's going to do an amazing job with whatever, whatever he decides to do with it. 
<clears throat> he has some really badass cars and some really, really good ideas. And he's a hell of a driver. So at some point, hopefully, I'll get more content with with him and some of his really cool stuff because he does. That, the Cutlass is in the garage. And that means madness is going to ensue because I am going to absolutely dismantle this thing and get trucking on the on what it should be, which is going to be an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, perfect, daily driving cruiser G body that can boogie, that can shuffle. So, oh my God, I'm so excited. All right. Never mind. Boom. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. This is the first like real project vehicle on that side of the shop. Like that's actually gonna, actually gonna stay there. Ooh, man, I'm excited. All right, so I'm gonna start unbolting the exhaust and some of the other stuff, and I might even support the transmission and unbolt that. But we'll see. Ooh, I think Jake's here. Yeah. So <laughs> I could just be tricking myself, but I'm like 99% sure yeah, so I, but I haven't done any research. I don't know if it could just be a similar pan. No way, because the 200 R4. Okay, bottom line. Oh, shit, I gotta pick up that car. That's dangerous. Okay. Um, ooh, God, I'm excited. Oh, is that too far back? So, oh, let's see if we can get you guys under here. So if you guys could see this, you will realize this means I don't have to buy as many parts. But oh my god, this just got so much cheaper. Yes! So that means I don't have to buy a transmission, and then I can buy like a shift kit for it. The linkage is all set up. So I could literally drop a 350 in this and start cruising it. Hell yeah. Oh, that's good news. All right. friction disc off of like an old like salt flats racer like I don't know it's kind of funny yeah sweet look at all that light <laughs> oh my god I'm excited all right so I'm gonna unbolt the exhaust like I've said four f times now and, yeah that was close and uh, oh yeah um, yeah, so I'm gonna unbolt the exhaust and then we'll start tearing apart this thing and pulling Because now that we have a turbo 350 trans Oh Jake you always end up doing the messier jobs So Wow, yeah, that is a tiny radiator. Yeah Boom. Radiator is out And this dude didn't spill <laughs> he didn't spill like anything. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Last time there was a spill. Like, look at all this on the floor. That was all from my brother in like one day. We were pulling a mod motor out of a. Or mod motor. We were pulling a. No, we were pulling the big 
four six mod yeah big mod mo big the four six modular motor out of a crown vic and he was like no nah, this won't leak sploosh and then he was like ah, i drained the majority of this sploosh and it was just like damn dude my garage is gross now as if it wasn't gross before <laughs> whoever designed this whoever designed this should be dragged out in the street and punched in the nuts just beat up because this is so stupid dude we're like you know what's a downside about this whole situation though? What's that? I don't have a plate, a carb plate to lift with. Yeah. We're getting there though. Jake's kicking ass. I'm kicking a, t a little bit. Let's see what this oil looks like, eh? Yeah. Make sure that's actually. I tried to be a little more slick about that. This little oil doesn't look bad. And that's a magnetic drain plug. Nice. And there's nothing on it. So, that's like completely clean. They must have changed the oil just before I bought it. <laughs> I mean, they love that car, so. That's good news, though. Man, that's good news. I'll see you later. All right, man. Adios, me and me go. Yeah. Thank you very much for the help. No problem. Uh, I would not be nearly as far as I am right now. Seriously. Yeah, no much appreciation. Send me a photo of your success or failure. Absolutely will do. Yeah. Well, if I fail, I'm probably dead under a motor, so. Uh, well, at least you tried. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. At least I tried. That's right. In the meantime, I'm going to wash my hands and eat a little bit and then finish this up. So, I'm putting the oil drain plug back in. Because <laughs> I just dropped my only long, my only deep well 10 mil that worked for the valve covers in the oil pan, in the oil drain pan. So, there's a 10 mil deep well in the oil mill. Dang it, oil drain pan. So, fun fact, I got the valve cover off. It's not a fun fact, but um, I didn't realize these motors were little shaft, shaft mounted rockers. That's so cool. I, it makes me very excited for what I'm actually gonna use this motor for. Cause I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm pretty excited, you know. I don't know. I do. I have an idea. But um, that's for a later day. So, uh, God, I'm excited. Damn. Damn. I'm sure some of you G-Body guys out there are laughing at me. And that's okay, because uh, I'm pretty laughable right now. So I'm taking this whole front clip off. <laughs> and right now I'm living my life a quarter turn at a time. As my buddy Cole Scott would say. Anyways, um, the sunset is awesome right now. So. It's already broken, by the way. I think I should have taken that off in two pieces. 
It's done now. <laughs> well, let's get this. Uh, let's get this engine hoist in here. God, I hope it fits. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's been like three hours since the last time you saw me. Um, <laughs> those trans bolts were awful. The protection plate for the trans is out. I think the only thing left is for me to figure out how to use the bathroom and then I'm going to hook it up and I'm going to unbolt. I'm definitely not going to just unbolt the motor mounts because I'm just done. I'm done with that kind of thing right now. This couldn't be sketchier. I mean, I'm not under the motor, <laughs> but there's still connections and uh, I made a mess. <laughs> I made a mess. Good enough. engine pull ever because that was the sketchiest engine pull ever period that was so sketchy Whew. <laughs> well that's it for this video guys <laughs> See you guys in the next one, and it won't be nearly as sketchy, hopefully.
wow, that's sketchy.